words into perspective. To write words in perspective, what we need to do is create like a window box. Once we've created a window box, we know how tall each individual letter will go. The letter that is largest to us will be the largest, and as it goes back to the vanishing point, it will get smaller and smaller. So the first step we're going to do is we're going to put in our line to start our box. I am on my center building, and I'm going to go just to the right of my center line. Just to the right of my center line, I'm going to make a vertical line. This is how large, top to bottom, my letter is going to be. Now I'm going to take my T-square and draw. I'm going to put a dot on either side as an indicator. I'm going back to the vanishing point. Now I'm going to take my T-square and I'm going to draw back to the vanishing point. These are guidelines, so draw them lightly. They are not keepers, they are guidelines. Now I'm going to close the end of my box with another vertical line. Essentially what we've done is we've created a window shape on the side of our building. To make words in perspective, we're going to make a box for each letter. depending on how many letters we're going to make. So let's go with um, let's go divide this box in half. I'm going to divide my box in half and then I'm going to put back to the vanishing point. Okay, so now I have a baseline for my letters. I have a top baseline and a bottom baseline. Now I have to figure out what I want to write. Because this is art class, we're going to write the words art, show. Three letters, S-H-O-W, and four letters for the bottom. So the three letters on top, we're going to separate with vertical lines. Now the boxes that get closer to the vanishing point are going to become closer and closer together. So my first letter will be about here and then my second letter will be a little bit more narrow, and then my third letter. And for the bottom, I'm going to write four letters, so I need three indicators or four vertical boxes. Okay, so I'm going to draw. I'm just going to make vertical lines to draw my boxes. Now the top and bottom boxes should be different. Okay, so now I have all of these boxes. My boxes get more and more narrow as they get closer to the vanishing point, and my boxes do not have a horizontal baseline, like I would put type on. Instead, the baseline is going to the vanishing point. The next step is to imagine what you would subtract from each box to make a letter. So, to write the letter A for art, I think about what I would subtract from this box. So I would subtract two corners and then a bottom box. You'll notice that the top of my letter is on an angle and the bottom as well. Let me just go over that a little darker. A, every letter should touch the top and the bottom. Okay, I'll tuck a little triangle in. There's my A. Next letter, my R. So I'm going to use that vertical line that I made before, and then I'm going to imagine what do I need to subtract from my box, keeping everything I possibly can to make an R. Now these are just the simple black letters. You could certainly get really creative. The letter T, we're going to keep the top line for the T, and then Imagine what will we subtract to make the letter T. Okay, so I made my vertical. The vertical is going to stay vertical. The What would have been the horizontal top to my T is actually going to go back to the vanishing point on the top and the bottom. So you're going to see your letter T has a bit of an angle. So the letter A is large and the letter T is a little bit more narrow. The letter S is going to be super fun. So here we go with our letter S, our first curvy letter. So in that bottom box, Right under the A, we're going to imagine how we can put in the letter S from edge to edge in that box. How can we fit that S 
from edge to edge. Nice and big. For the horizontal in the letter H, I'm just going to trace those two horizontals. Then I'm going to scoot over and give them a thickness on both sides, making sure that that center line of the H also kind of goes back to the vanishing point. The letter O touches top and bottom, left to right. Curve. And W. Oh, it's going to be tight for the W. That's the smallest letter. My W looks like a little funny here. My W. There we go. That's a better looking W. Now you can go ahead and erase your guideline if you want, or perhaps you want to keep your guideline on the outside.